<laughs> Welcome back to Physics with, Mi Physics with Miyoshi. Um, we're talking about kinematics some more here today, and we want to use probably the most, uh, one of the most useful equations in kinematics. The average velocity or average speed is uh, displacement, change in displacement over change in time. Uh, I want to give you a couple examples of that today, and the easiest one to do, uh, for me anyway, is if I want to travel in our beautiful state of Washington, I didn't try to draw the real thing, just my rectangular there. Um, in one dimension, it's basically west to east if I want to go from Seattle to Spokane. Uh, if I want to go from Seattle to Spokane, and I know that my average distance, or that the distance there is approximately 300 miles, um, and I know that it's going to take me approximately five hours to go there, then I can figure out my average speed of 300 divided by 5 is going to give me approximately 60, or it will give me exactly 60 miles per hour. That would be my average speed. So if we traveled at an average speed of 60 miles an hour from Seattle to Spokane, I'll know that it'll take me approximately 5 hours. Or if I know I took 5 hours to get 300 miles, I know that my average speed was 300 miles per hour. We can do this with pretty much any units. But right now, we're just thinking about uh, traveling in a car. So that's how we would get there, or how fast, what speed we would get if we knew that our time was like that. Well, what if we knew that we instead, that we wanted to travel that um, some distance, well, what if we knew, wanted to find out how long it would take us to get those 300 miles if we traveled a different speed? Well, we could do the same kind of thing, but now we're just gonna rearrange our equation. So, if I know my average speed is going to be uh, 50 miles per hour, and I know the distance is still uh, 300 miles, if I want to find my time, I can just use this equation this way. Well, what do I do? Well, if I was in my math class, I would uh, change this guy, I would multiply both sides by delta t, and we would do that same thing here in physics. And then I can divide by my 50 miles per hour. And then, by doing some fancy division here, I could find out that, and some division here, I can find that my delta t, or my time difference is 300 miles divided by 50 miles per hour. Well, when I do my division, I find that's going to be 6. And then my units. Well, what I do with my units is I'm going to divide my units out. And then the hour, 1 over hour, 1 over 1 over hour is just hours. And that makes sense. I have 6 hours to take to travel 300 miles at an average rate of 50 miles per hour. Well, there's other ways to use this equation. There's obviously um, at least one more when we can rearrange our equation one more time. If I wanted to find out, if I was traveling on the same I-90 corridor from Seattle and I knew that I was gonna travel for a um, time of three hours, well, let's say four hours, if I knew I was gonna travel at a time of four hours and I knew my average velocity was 60 miles per hour again and how far would I have gone? Well I could do the same thing as I did before I could just rearrange my equation uh, and this time I'll do the rearranging here with my um, symbols and I will just multiply both sides by delta t and that makes that go away, or, or cancel each other out, or divide out. And so I have now my delta T, delta D rather. Delta D is the average times delta T. So if I already know that my average speed is 60 miles per hour, and I know that my delta T is 4 hours, and I know that I traveled 240 miles 
because my hours and my hours to find out. So, uh, if you were traveling along the island I-90 corridor from Seattle to Spokane and you went average speed of 60 miles per hour for four hours, you would travel approximately 240 miles and that puts you around Richville, I imagine, somewhere in there uh, if you are familiar with the state of Washington. So, that would be how we arrange our equation. There's one more thing we might want to do, and that is if we were planning a trip to, from Seattle to Spokane again, if I was planning a trip, I might want to do something like uh, leave at a specific time of day or get there at a specific time of afternoon. So if I said that I wanted to, um, If I wanted to get to Spokane uh, at 3 in the afternoon and I knew that it took me, that I was going to drive approximately 60 miles an hour uh, and I know it's 300 miles, I could still use this equation but I have to use one other thing. So if I have my V average is 60 miles per hour and my delta D, or my distance, is still 300 miles. Uh, but now I have a specific time I want to get there at, and I want to determine what time I have to leave by. I can just find my delta T. And if you recall from before, um, it's delta D over V average, which is 300 miles divided by 60 miles per hour still gives me five hours uh, but what about my time I'm going to leave well I can just use this equation over here now and delta T is five hours but I want to find the initial time so delta T is time final minus time initial and since I want to find the initial time, the initial time, I know this is 3 o'clock. Um, and what time do I have to leave by to get there? Well, if I take my clock three o'clock there, and I go back five hours, one, two, three, four, five. I know that I have to leave approximately 10 a.m. Okay? So while this may or may not... Um, so this should be uh, an easy way to uh, use, in this case, two equations and finding that one unknown um, by doing a little bit of manipulation. So, again, the one of the most important or one of the most used... Um, equations we will use in kinematics in one dimension is our average speed is change in time or change in speed change in distance over change in time or change in displacement over change in time so thanks for tuning in to physics with Miyoshi hope we learned a little bit more about a couple of examples of how to use V average is equal to the equation V average is equal to the change in distance over the change in time Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> oh boy.